Hello everyone. Welcome to a short video to introduce the new RDS-32 survey meter. The RDS-32 is designed to be one meter to meet all your radiological needs. The RDS-32 features a large graphic display with backlight, four navigation keys, and a select key to operate the instrument. It is lightweight, ergonomic, and has a belt clip to make it wearable. By itself, the RDS-32 is a handheld survey meter with multiple dose rate ranges. The standard version provides a range of background up to 0.1 sieverts per hour or 10 rem per hour. The wide range version increases this range to 10 sieverts per hour or 1000 rem per hour. Both versions also come with the telemetry options, RDS-32 ITX or the RDS-32 ITX wide range. Note the transmission icon flashes each transmission. These options allow you to send dose and rate information to be received by a monitoring station. The RDS-32 also has new CSW32 configuration software and can be connected using the same USB cable link you use with the RDS-31. Notice how the meter makes the connection to the CSW32 software automatically. You may have a situation where you need more than a handheld gamma dose rate meter. If so, we have probe options for the RDS-32 to meet those needs. If you need neutron and gamma dose rates in one instrument, we have the SND2. For high sensitivity needs, we use a 2x2 NAI detector in the SG2R. When dealing with high dose rates, you can measure them at a distance with the Tela STTC2. Do you need to count smears or air samples on a scaler? We have the Easy Count portable counter that is powered by the RDS-32. Remember, all our contamination probes can be used in scalar mode. We also have a wide range of contamination probes, from standard friskers to a 579 squared centimeters floor monitor. But the most popular is the SAB100 Alpha Beta probe. Almost all of these are smart probes that store their calibration information internally. The probes are not paired to an individual RDS-32 unit, so you can quickly switch between different probe types. We are currently connected to the SAB100 Alpha Beta contamination probe. Note, we can see both the alpha and beta contamination on one screen. Now we switch to the STTC dose rate probe. You will note that the meter display will always show the readings from both the external and internal detector. Using the RDS-32 and the variety of smart probes will reduce your equipment inventory, since there is no need to have a separate meter for every probe. Having one meter with all these functions means less equipment training. The smart part of the contamination probe is from utilizing its efficiency to directly read out activity so no conversion is required. You can easily change from counts to activity in the menu and even select a different isotope for a different efficiency. Don't forget, with the ITX version, you are sending the data of both the RDS and the probe. One final reminder if you did not catch it mentioned earlier, all our contamination probes can be used in scalar mode to provide net counts, offering other options to the easy count. We hope you enjoyed our RDS-32 introduction.